Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 72. Got my smoothie this morning, it's another sorbet, so it's a juice based smoothie today. Some pineapple juice, orange juice, strawberry, banana, protein powder, I think that's it. Going to go to Cavsham today to do the first workout and talk to the head coach Jürgen Grobler just to establish targets for the rest of the season, so that'll be interesting. And then see what happens the rest of the day, whether where the workouts will be. An exciting day today. Let's get straight to it. And made it to Cavisham at the training centre. Just going to get changed real quick, get an air going before the meeting with Jürgen. Let's get going. And welcome back to another Air Thoughts with Cambuckin. Today's subject is 2K prep. Somebody asked in the comments yesterday about how I prep for my 2K. So I thought, why not discuss today? Just as I'm getting ready to air. So I've already, for the warm up, this is just a steady state session, UT2. So I've already had some rolling out, some stretching, just preparing myself for the erg itself. Just some getting my body moving in the morning before I start the erg. So let's get to 2K prep. And this is just like on the day, not sort of pieces before or things I might think work for you or me or before the 2K day. So it is 2K day. Let's go through the whole thing. Okay, so wake up nice and early, or it's our normal time, so I'm not waking up later, I'm not changing things in that respect. So I wake up at normal time, I have a, a decent breakfast, a nice big breakfast. Let's assume that the 2K is at sort of 12.30, roughly. So I get a good breakfast in around 7ish, 7.30, like good, uh, for me that would be good bowl of porridge or oats, some yogurt, some fruit, maybe another smoothie, some protein powder, some toast, some eggs. So a good breakfast, good solid breakfast, just to make sure you've got the fuel. But really, I've, I've spoken to some different people, the fuel you have already got the day before or two days previously, that's what you're going to use energy-wise. The food to eat on the day is more about comfort. But I'm not a nutritionist, nor am I a coach. So take all of what I'm saying with a small pinch of salt. So that's me, had my breakfast. Now what? Usually I live a little bit away from the training center, so I'm assuming we're doing a 2K at my training center. So I go there and get a little pre-paddle in. And you saw that in the 2K video. I'll put a little link in the corner to that video. So there's a pre-paddle for the 2Ks. Some people went on the bike for their so-called pre-paddle, some people went on the water, some people did it on the erg. And really this is a kind of personal preference. Some people like to do a really solid session, get really sweaty, get like loads of bursts in and all that. But for me personally, I like to get sort of, let's say 15 minutes getting sweaty. So like a decent UT2, but nothing too hard and nothing too light either and then in that sort of 15 20 minutes i'll try and get some bursts in as well sort of maybe 10 strokes at most a few 10 stroke bursts and one of them is going to be like let's see how low i can get the split but not really digging deep just sort of getting down in the the low ones just to sort of feel give myself some confidence say oh i can i've still got it i can still get the split low and so it helps there. So we've done our pre-paddle. We're all, the body is awake. And now just pretty much rest. Get a little bit of food in again. And this time, since the time is approaching for the 2K, so let's assume it's now maybe before 12, uh, sorry, before 10. And the erg is at 12.30. So we've got two and a half hours. So still got a good amount of time to digest some food. My food intake is going to be less for me. I like to have a closer to empty stomach, but not empty while I'm doing a test. So I don't really like the hunger feeling some people prefer to have. I prefer to sit just above there. So I feel like I've got fuel. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, I've got that energy, even though that's not how it works. 
I think, okay, yeah, I've got a little bit of energy there. I can use that at the last 500 or whatever. So I've, I've eaten maybe a couple of bagels and a few eggs would be my sort of last meal before 2K. Some guys really load up again. They don't really feel like they ha are affected by their stomachs. I certainly, if it's full, it's coming back up. It's, it's going in the bin, especially after the 2K. So I had breakfast number two, and we're prepping for the 2K. So what I like to do now, so the air goes at 12.30, I like to go and warm up at 11.30, so an hour before, and then sit on the bike for 20 minutes. Get sweaty, get, just make sure you're really warm. So you've not really done much, but you've just 20 minutes of just revving up the bike. So you've not really done any bursts, you've not really done anything like that yet, but you're just sweaty. Then you, then I go on the erg and do some bursts. So I'm doing some UT2 and do some 10, 15 stroke bursts. And I also like to do sort of maybe, depending on how I'm feeling, a longer burst. So sometimes I feel like doing it in distance, sometimes I do it in time, like roughly a minute, maybe like 250, give or take, just at pace, really sort of feeling it. Make sure you sort of do enough, for me, it's doing just enough so you feel the burn, but not quite into that sort of hole yet. You're just, just, okay, it's burning, okay, right, we're off. We're off the erg. And then we do some more UT2, and then essentially just float up and down the erg for a few minutes. And so that's probably going, this. so you've got the bike and this little bit of bursts and minutes and 250s, whatever, on the erg. That's, we'll say that's 45 minutes. You've got 15 minutes before. Then for me, I like to get off the erg, walk around. Usually at this point as well, I've got a few, not a few layers. I've got more than just like what you see in the erg in a video just now, just my all in one. I've got maybe a long sleeve or a short sleeve, maybe some leggings on. And as I'm going through the warm up, I'll be taking those off. But usually it's not until this stage when I've got off the erg for the last time where I'm starting to just get into the all-in-one or the uni suit or the uni or one piece whatever you call it and that's when I'm just I'm very sweaty very warm and I'm ready to go I've got the confidence is building I'm like okay I'm ready to rock okay so I know so for example I have taken my leggings off and I've got one long sleeve on now and so I'm very warm but I'm still walking around I'm not ready to go yet so the long sleeve is still keeping that core temperature up while I'm just walking around doing nothing. So I've got maybe 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes to go. And now the nerves start to really go wild. And I'm thinking, okay, we're almost there. We're almost at the start. So I get back on the erg, take my long sleeve off. And what I like to do is if it's a long sleeve or leggings or short sleeve, whatever I've still got on, I like to fold it very neatly and put it behind me on the erg, usually to my right side or over my right shoulder. And I'll usually take my bottle and place it on the other side of that. That's something I like to do. It's kind of weird, but that's what I do. That sets me up for the erg. And pretty much just floating up and down the slide. If I am feeling like it, if I'm feeling confident, feeling good, I might throw in a burst, maybe a five or so minutes before, but that's, that's a, more of a rare occasion there I might just do some UT2 just keep keep the warmth going and then obviously you've got maybe three minutes to go two minutes to go the coaches okay handles down get ready and then the heartbeat goes and you're all right okay we're ready to go and then the coach attention go and you're off and you're doing your 2k and I think the 2k why doing the 2k is a whole different whole different discussion but Hopefully that helps, just if, as an example of what I do before a 2K. Remember, it's not, it's very individual. So don't take what I'm doing and say, I have to do that. Just like any of the videos you watch, anything I say, not all of it, most of it is just me doing my own thing. So don't directly copy it. Do what's good for you. Maybe take some advice and then change it up to make it suit you. But that's the end of a bit of a longer Erg Thoughts today. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below how you prep for your 2K. See you when I'm finished the Erg.
and just finished breakfast now after that wonderful erg and the last thing you saw was getting my lactate taken so just another measure to find which training zone I'm in making sure it's all going correctly so all the guys are boating for their session and the girls for another session in the water look at this water Absolutely beautiful, classic. Also had the meeting with Jürgen, had a good chat with him, just discussing what I'm going to do going forward. He really wants me to do Henley, so I'm going to be doing Henley. So that'll be really good fun. Just need to obviously talk to the other coaches. I can't just walk up and go do Henley. I need to talk to the coaches at Leander, see what their thoughts are as well. And targets for my ergs and stuff still to be solidified. And also maybe Get in a sculling boat, but we'll see about that. Another not solid plan there yet, but still figuring it all out. Talking to the coaches, I'm going to just talk to the dock now and then get back to Leander for some weights and a bit of bicycling. All right, let's get going. Took longer to see the dock than anticipated, so I'm still here. I'm going to do a bike and weights here and then see the doctor. Let's get to it. And that's me finished on the bicycle. We go straight to weight, so you saw 230 watts on the watt bike this time. Sorry, not the watt bike, on the erg bike. A bit different. Quite like it. Okay, weight's time. And we're back outside of Cavisham once more. <laughs> Getting dis- Oh well, yeah, you're, you're distracting me. And we're back outside of Cavisham once again. Great training day, much better spacing out the sessions. Since weights had some more food because of course food is fuel. Great to see where Jürgen's coming from as well. Going to have some more meetings with other coaches so everyone's on the same page to see what I can do. But he wants me to do Henley. Probably a good idea, especially as my fitness is coming back a lot quicker than I thought it was. What a speed. And I think that is the vlog for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Have a good one.